About two days ago, I was walking up the steps of the Capitol when Representative Yoho um, suddenly turned a corner um, and he was accompanied by Representative Roger Williams and accosted me on the steps right here in front of our nation's capital. I was minding my own business, walking up um, the steps, and Representative Yoho put his finger in my face. He called me disgusting. He called me crazy. He called me out of my mind. Um, and he called me dangerous. And then he took a few more steps, and after I had recognized his, uh, after I had recognized his, his comments as rude, he walked away and said, I'm rude. You're calling me rude. I took a few steps ahead, and I walked inside and cast my vote, um, because my constituents send me here each and every day to fight for them. I walked back out, and there were reporters in the front of the Capitol, and in front of reporters, Representative Yoho called me, and I quote, a f***ing bitch. These are the words that Representative Yoho levied against a congresswoman, the congresswoman that not only represents New York's 14th congressional district, but every congresswoman and every woman in this country, because all of us have had to deal with this in some form, some way, some shape, at some point in our lives. But then yesterday, Representative Yoho decided to come to the floor of the House of Representatives and make excuses for his behavior. And that I could not let go. I could not allow my nieces, I could not allow the little girls that I go home to. I could not allow victims of verbal abuse and worse to see that, to see that excuse and to see our Congress accept it as legitimate and accept it as an apology. Mr. Yoho mentioned that he has a wife and two daughters. I am two years younger than Mr. Yoho's youngest daughter. I am someone's daughter, too. My father, thankfully, is not alive to see how Mr. Yoho treated his daughter. My mother got to see Mr. Yoho's disrespect on the floor of this house towards me on television. And I am here because I have to show my parents that I am their daughter and that they did not raise me to accept abuse from men. Mm -hmm. In using that language in front of the press, he gave permission to use that language against his wife, his daughters, women in his community. And I am here to stand up to say that is not acceptable. Having a daughter does not make a man decent. Having a wife does not make a decent man. Treating people with dignity and respect makes a decent man. And when a decent man messes up, as we all are bound to do, he tries his best and does apologize. Not to save face, not to win a vote. He apologizes genuinely to repair and acknowledge the harm done so that we can all move on. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.